I am at, uh, what do you call it, Gamers Corner, I think, that sells Gundam. Last time I didn't have time, I ran out of battery. So you can see that they have Tamiya masking tape at 15 bucks. For those who do airbrush, that's the most important thing. And they do have Gundam markers as well, but the uh, colors are quite limited. They have white, blue, brown, fluorescent, green, pink, dark blue, I think, is it Gundamu? Mekare, Mekagure, Metal Grey, I think. Oh, Metal Grey. Hmm, interesting. Then they have uh, green and brown. And for spray paints and all using brush, they do have the colors here at 10 bucks each. And 12 bucks. I don't know why. They don't have the required colors of silver or gold. The most popular, popular paints of all. And I think that's Patti. Yep, it's kind of clear. Patti is very clear in this one. And they have brushes as well. Eight bucks for one ordinary type of brush. And they have tweezers for small little, small little parts. And they have cutters as well. And this one uh, is for cutting, especially good for those who do diorama. They have pliers and wow, this one is uh, Hannibal Lecter would love this. And they have the stands as well. The stands, action based, we call it. It's 20 bucks. And I think I need to get one for my friend Zam, Zayu Abdul Muhammad, because his 27 ringgit is for the Sinanju, the full frontal version. This one is 27 bucks, so I have to take note of this. And I also have this one. This one, I'm not sure whether to get it for the full armored Unicorn Master Grid or not. It's 27 bucks as well, and this is the old riser clear part stand. And the other stands, I think, it's for the high grade. Yep, the one now one four four scale. The rest is there. So I'm gonna do an in-depth report about all the Gundams here, and I got around maybe 15 minutes left. Do -do 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 -do. And they have other things as well, extra hands. And I'm interested only in the perfect grades, and they have a mutual unit high grade at 268 and the strike freedom, this is not perfect grade, is it? This is a, I think it's a perfect grade, no, it's not a perfect grade. It's not a perfect grade, it's about 320 ringgit, so the price does not res reflect a perfect grade, usually it's around 400 bucks. And they we have the strike Gundam striker weapon system, I think it's for the perfect grade, yep. The Gundam A, fuck it. Zaku 2, the one out of 60 scale at uh, how much is it? 269 bucks. And it's not a perfect grade at all because you don't have a chance to open up and see the inner detail. I mean, uh, you don't have vents to open it up. And the rest here will be, let's see, uh, okay. They have the Xeondok Doom. I don't have any interest in them, all master grades. Uh, Price-wise, it would be pretty good in Gamer's Choice because they order in bulk and therefore they can sell to the public, public quite cheaply. So perfect grades are all covered and they have extra weapon systems as well. Like the sniper rifle, as you can see here. The Dioma chain base is 10% off. It's quite a small diorama, diorama. It's like a desert scheme. I think it's for the one f uh, high grade version. And have a large, large screen, 98 ringgit for maybe a perfect grade or the ones that have very large wings. Mm, besides Gundams, they have also Pat Labor. I'm not sure about that. And they have all, all units like the Sazabi, made in 1998. And also, also this uh, Az Alpha Azeru. It's very old, so if you like old style model kit, that's the one to get. And this is a nice main battle tank. I really love the double turret th tanks of uh, the Federation. An armored core, the SD, super deformed. I think the girls would love such things. And, uh, yeah, and the high grades are all in on this shelf, which I'm not interested in. And we have the Superior X S X S 
133 ringgit and a Rick Dias 133 ringgit and we have the Zaku 2, the TriStar version and the Xiong and the rest, the ZZ FA full armor and here is the perfect grades, almost, the master grades actually this one, the EXS Gundam at 268 ringgit and I got it for 100 ringgit because it is not Bandai and yeah, the Strike Freedom Gundam is, n yeah it is a perfect grade uh, at 1 out of 60 Strike Freedom Gundam, Gundam cost how much? is around 320 ringgit, same as the one on the upper shelf and we have the 1 out of 48 big scale Zaku 2s as well and how much are they? they are at uh, it's fucking hard to see 273 ringgit if I'm not mistaken okie dokie you have to be careful when putting it back because the boxes are fragile and you just want it to be crisp so this one I've, I've already covered the EXS at uh, 268 ringgit and I'm trying to get to the Federation Mark II R78 Gundam that one here is uh, I think it's 500 ringgit I'm not sure I can't read it sideways uh, let's see yep 500 ringgit I'm not really sure it's so dark I can't see shit yeah try again it should be a good unit to buy or invest in. I would, wouldn't say investment. Uh, maybe something like a car. Once you buy it, it goes down in value. Because all these things you can actually... They can like just produce more of this stuff. So I'm interested in this one. This one is 155 ringgit of the high grade Cassatria. But I prefer a master grade. And master grades are fucking neat fucking huge for this unit because it is a very very large unit in real life if there is such a Cassatra in real life and they do have the GN Arms Type D which is also considered a big big unit at 222 ringgit I think I'll wait for the perfect grade if there is one for them which I doubt it because it will be too big if you want to get a perfect grade or a 1 out of 100 uh, scale Cassatria, you just have to wait for the resin kits. Uh, these, uh, these units I haven't seen before. The GPP06F Super Custom Sacrifice F2000. You have the Sinanju World Stein, which is the precursor to the Sinanju by Full Frontal, piloted by Full Frontal. Uh, they have the new version, no, no, this 160 ringgit for the Master Grade Striker Freedom and 150 ringgit for this uh, Gundam Death Strike. If I'm not mistaken, there are a couple of versions of this Death Strike The Hell. This is the, the Hell version, and there are normal ones as well. So, if you can hear the music in the background, they are playing Gundam Seed uh, opening. I don't know by who. But it is very, very nice. Du, 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 du. Hopefully, YouTube won't uh, cancel my video because of that copyright issues. So, they have a MSN 006 Zeta Gundam 670 ringgit, perfect grade. But I'm not interested in transformable perfect grades. And uh, this is the one that I always wanted a uh, S ray perfect grade. It's 600 bucks. Uh, it looks really really good, I haven't seen what it can do, what kind of vents it can open. And this one I have already, Strike Rook plus Sky Grasper at 635 ringgit. Uh, body of about 120 ringgit from uh, Bumi Utara near Digital Mall, section 14. And this is a Zaku 2, it's quite, this box is kind of small, there are two boxes, one is a Shah Aznobel's customized mobile suit. The other one is just a mass production mobile suit, which is green, I think. It's the J version. Definitely a J version. It is at respectively 414 ringgit and 408 ringgit for the Shah Aznobel's perfect grade. And we have the MK2 Federation colors. And this is not a perfect grade, this is the EXS, but it is, is very, very huge. And uh, from what people say, it has no inner frame. 
and there's the Xiong, Xiong that comes with the legs. And we have sprayers. Ah, oh, this is for the airbrush. It's about uh, 580 and 520 ringgit respectively. Pretty expensive actually. 360 ringgit for this. Uh, this is the cheapest of all three. I think this is the Ferrari version. Protocon Boy. So, and they also sell Gundam decals. Decals. And small figures as well. And card games as well. Hmm. So back to Gundams. Uh, you can see here. 140 ringgit for this Gundam Strike with Ale Pack, if I'm not mistaken. Ale Strike Gundam. It's a new build. It's 2013. So these are the latest ones. And uh, yeah, Bandai is trying to get out more, almost all of the Gundam Seed mobile suits. Uh, in master grade form and previously before 2013 we had to contend with the no grade versions which were inferior compared to these master grade versions du, 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 du. let's see what else do they have yeah they have the old quanta T I'm not a fan of double O units but if before the right price it could be interesting and they have the new Sinanjo as well at 250 ringgit 2013 build. They have around, if you like Sinanju, they have four boxes. So if you don't hurry, maybe it'll be, I mean, they can run out of stock like what happened to the white version, the old version, the non OVA version, which you can only get it at the Sungai Wang Plaza because the Litak store, the Litak hobby store, was selling it at a very, very expensive price, a cutthroat price. Then I'm interested in this one as well, 160 ringgit for the ashtray with double katanas and whatever. What's it called? The Red Frame Lu Gul's Customized Mobile Suit. I'm not sure about this one. I think maybe this is from the comic or from the OVA spin-offs. Then the rest, uh, you have this as well. The Blitz 2013 should be and it's very very thin compared to the rest. About two thirds of a normal master grade. Then we have the Buster Gundam, also very thin, same as the Blitz. There may not be many parts to it, I'm not sure. Sorry. The ISWP, and that's it. And we have the Goof Custom here as well. Yeah, 103 ringgit. Yeah, I, I'm personally liking this one. This unit is pretty, pretty awesome. I always look, like to look at this. And I'm also very interested in this Infinite Justice Gundam because the build is different according to the YouTuber of Paul Prime 92. And we have the titanium versions of the Black Gundam, uh, Black Unicorn. Well, too, pretty expensive actually. It's very expensive. It's 369 bucks just for a runner that looks more metallic than usual so they had the I Luna Striker IWSP and never seen this before yeah I think they have the pirate version as well Strike Rook Master Grade and they had the Cubile and Cubile Purple the red version many many versions and yeah, yeah this is the armored version of the Zeta Gundam 222 bucks the white cubile as well so there are three colors to the cubile 134 ringgit each but this one is more expensive 152 ringgit because it's made in 2001 whereas the purple one is made in 2009 and what about the red one the red one is made in god knows when uh, in, uh, 2004 so i don't know about the price about that but they should have the same bill but I'm just waiting for somebody to stock up the Google version of the Cubile because somebody said that it was very very impressive for a Google model. Compared, maybe they didn't compare to the Bandai version, but it is much bigger than here, the Bandai version. And we have the Gundam Max Exia Ignition mode at 218 bucks. Uh, yeah, some pirate, some stores are selling it at the cutthroat price as well. And we have the Sword Impulse, Destiny Gundam, the Zeta Gundam. Zeta Gundam looks interesting at 185 bucks, transformable, but what's the point of transforming it when you have already put it together? It can break 
easily Saku mine layer oh, this is quite a big box 153 ringgit for such a thing don't know whether the unit would be big or not but I don't think so Mark 2 Gundam at master grade size and then the version 2.0 Mark 2 Titans prototype Gundam wing this one uh, big box the workout version I think that's about it there's nothing much to see it anymore and then they have this one, the Byron Custom, which we saw in action in uh, episode 4, I think, of the Gundam Unicorn OVA, kicking fucking asses of the old, old Zakus and Zeon forces from the One Year War. 160 ringgit for this Gundam Strike revised blue frame version, second or something. Very, very long names. They're getting very good at it cobbling English names together to make a very very confusing confusing name Byron Custom, the Rose and Zulu I would prefer it if they did a master grade version of this but high grade version is already kind of big Sky Grasper plus you I see in the middle aisle eh, we have nice figures and we have this uh, K-On K yep, K-On was enjoyable I didn't I think I saw the second season. I uh, didn't bother with the third one. Sometimes when you look at animes like the real gun, that one was kind of mi a mixed bag in the first season. So I didn't follow up on the second season. If I don't have time to watch it at all, they have Metal Gear Solid as well, and it's 20% off. It's 160 ringgit. Hmm, 160 ringgit. Whereas some places like uh, the Chinese bookstore, they are selling it at 200 bucks. So initial price would be 195 but the one in the Chinese store or Chinese uh, bookshop is not this version. This is the non-armored version. The armored version is the one that has the orange. Okay, here we go here and you might experience some, uh, some, what, you, what shall we call it, some issue with uh, video quality that has gone down because I'm using a VGA version. Uh, because I'm using the Sony Steady Shot that comes in only in VGA and not in high definition. So I ran out of time, space and battery power for that uh, for that Samsung uh, camera. So I'll continue with my review. I got 20 minutes on this. So uh, hybrid versions, we have the Rosen Sulu, the Unicorn Gundam, the Unicorn Gundam Banshee and everything else. Du, 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 du. GM Sniper, as I can see, I'm not that interested in high grades, though it is the most popular and most cheapest option of all. Okay, I'm going to. Oh, they have also the as um, Mark II. So, that's around here. The high grade versions are the ones that have the most varied Gundam types compared to the. What should we call it? Uh, master grade versions. Hmm. Alexander Type 02. What? This is Code Gears. Ah, yeah, this is the second season. Or, no, no, the continuing season should be the third season. But uh, I dare not watch this new anime, Code Gears, because after the second season and when the protagonist died, that was the end. It was the end of the story. I just don't know whether this new Code Gears is better or same in terms of story and suspense. So I don't want to spoil a good thing. Uh, it's a similar thing with uh, Last Exile. They had came out with uh, uh, Wings of Fam or something like that. And I didn't watch that because uh, Last Exile, the original anime, was a sweet, sweet memory. So I don't know, like... Like... Uh, tainted with, with a second rate type of continuation just to make more money by the anime studios that uh, try to what, uh, feed off our, our what do you call our fondness for the original anime so here we have the non-grade versions no grade like the Blitz Gundam 76 bucks or the Dual Gundam Assault Shroud Oh, this one, oh, I've never seen this before. This is no grade Aerials Gundam. And we have uh, Akatsuki as well at 280 bucks. Very, very 
very very shiny and the Xia no grade 160 skill which was sold as well by GHB for I think 60 ringgit at the 50% off Bumi Utara so yeah, that's about it I guess uh, there's nothing much else to see here just come and take a look at the gamers choice because uh, it won't I mean you won't regret it they have a lot of selection of Gundams and the price is very very competitive very very competitive and I can see a lot of things here and the perfect grades are always out of reach in terms of price so this has been a Jericho production also known as a wait a minute production I hope you guys enjoyed my my tour of this gamers choice in Bajai Times Square 7th floor next to XL shop so uh, Kasachua when are you going to be mine okay I have to convince my friend Zams to actually buy it because this looks fucking awesome and they have the Psycho Gundam a very big box I don't know whether I covered this last time or not but the pirated version was a bit smaller like half the size it's 168 bucks and it's a perfect great size a bloody huge huge machine or model or toy heavens forbid calling it a toy it is not a toy it's a model so that's about it and I'll see you when I see you Malaysia and it has been a very foggy foggy day very fucking foggy it's the third day of the haze and it's getting worse so Fuck you, Indonesia. I thank you for your time, man. Looks like the owners were like uh, confused about what the hell am I doing. And you can see the Master Grade versions of the Gundam Wing series. And uh, this one I want to get. I think I want to get all five of them. And we have Master Miller, poor Master Miller. He was tortured in the new Metal Gear cinematics for the E3 2013. It was quite shocking. It was a very good trailer. And we have Macros, uh, Frontier, and the rest. So, see you when I see you. Oh my god, the GN Arms looks huge and impressive. And my soon to be built Unicorn full armor version. Don't know when, don't know when, don't know when. See you, Malaysia. Thank you.